Hey there. Welcome to the year 2022. It's a new year and I've been on vacation. I'm right now what I'm doing is I'm down in my office and I'm testing out all my equipment, getting ready to start really editing kind of in earnest for getting everything ramped back up again. And one of the things that was on my mind was I when I posted the 150,000 subscriber special, I had a lot of people comment saying that they've been watching me ever since I had the uh, that cartoon guy. The cartoon guy, I'm going to call that crazy eyes because the eyes are crazy. Um, I have, they're supposed to track, I'm using my web camera. I don't know if I ever talked to you guys about how this thing works, but this is actually an animated character that w- I use my webcam and my microphone and it's supposed to track my eye movement, head movement. I can move side to side and stuff like that. The problem is if you don't hold your eyes extremely wide open and look into a bright light while you're talking, sometimes it loses track of your eyes and um, that kind of sucks. So it gets crazy eyes. Regardless, a lot of people said they've been watching since I had old crazy eyes here. And every once in a while I get comments from people asking me to bring them back. He is not something I'm going to be bringing back, but I thought I would just bring him out for a little test drive. Um, One thing I did during my vacation time was I rearranged my office. Um, I did this mostly for my other channel because now I have two walls that I can use as backdrops and I can use it for changes of scenery and stuff like that. So I was moving my office and everything around and when I plugged everything back in to make sure it worked, my computer unfortunately was not working. Um, Somehow my boot disk um, became corrupt and I needed a new install of Windows. So I took care of that and I was kind of putting everything back on my computer and I got out my my backup drives. And one thing that was on my backup drive was this guy right here. So I figured I'll go ahead and throw him up on my desktop, do the recording, say hi to everybody, uh, just to give you all a little taste of what the channel used to be. One thing I will say is that I don't know if it's tracking or doing what it's supposed to be doing right now, but I'm very excited that I actually have good audio. Well, at least I have better audio than I used to because the microphone that I was using when I originally had crazy eyes here, or at least the series of microphones, I had a couple of really cheap microphones that I, that I started using when I started putting voiceovers on the channel and, uh, God, the audio on those was so horrible that I can hardly stand to listen to it myself. I actually feel bad for you guys that watch those videos and that, and I feel bad for people who come to the channel now and watch those things for the first time. There's always a chance I might re-edit those videos with a new intro and kind of put those back out into the live YouTube world. Because when I get people that come to the channel I, I guess first impressions are important, right? Um, the channel was growing a lot when I was doing these kind of things, but I don't know. I'm kind of rambling. So one of the things that I wanted to do just quickly was uh, let you know that, you know, I get this email every year at the end of the year. It gives you a little snapshot of kind of what the channel did. Um, these are things that YouTube thinks is important, so they decide to share them with me. And I know I have a lot of people who... I don't really like saying fans of the channel, but I have a lot of people who very closely follow the channel and are very engaged with the channel. And for those people, I think they like to hear some of these statistics. Um, One thing that's frustrating is it doesn't tell me exactly how many subscribers the channel gained last year, but I I suppose I can look back and see when my 50,000 subscriber special went out. Um, Let me see if I can do that real quickly while I'm talking. But no, that's not going to work. Here, I'm going to pause for one second. Alrighty, so I found the information I was looking for. And this channel hit 50,000 subscribers in March of 2021. So that means realistically, at the beginning of 2021, this channel probably had around 35,000 subscribers. So the channel gained in the year 2021 a about 110, 115,000 subscribers. So 2021 was a pretty incredible year for this channel. Um, it honestly, when I think about it in those kind of terms, kind of blows me away. Um, so, but here's some of the stats that, uh, YouTube gave me. They said 
And here's your snapshot of 2021. You had 177.2 million minutes watched. I haven't had a chance to divide that by 60, but that's going to be a large number. Um, total views for the year 2021 was 35.9 million. I remember this was probably November of 2020. Um, maybe November or December when the channel f hit, um, the first million total views. Um, and now the channel is at 35 million views. That's pretty nuts. Actually, I bet you, I didn't hit a million views until probably February, but, uh, regardless, um, this year there's been 189,000 comments on the channel. It's one of the things that YouTube tells me about. What else? They also tell me that I've had 839,000 likes on the channel. Oh, 189,000 comments. You know what? They don't really tell you very much, do they? And as of December 14th, it had been 519 days since I uploaded my first video. And that's about it. So... That was a little bit of a year in review for 2021. One thing I can actually do quickly, maybe, I want to talk about the videos that did the best in 2021. Um, my most watched video of 2021 was one that actually was uploaded in 2020. That was the guy who um, overdosed in a vehicle while an officer was behind him. That video is currently sitting at 5.5 million views. Then for the videos that were actually released in 2021 that did exceptionally well, had the uh, officer stops a truck doing 116 miles an hour. That one's at 3.8 million views. Have the uh, officers find a man having a bad reaction to acid. Um, that video is at 3.1 million views. And I think right now is a time that I want to make a statement publicly about that video. Um, the guy in that video has contacted me on multiple occasions. Um, I'm going to try to actually sit down and have a face-to-face -face interview with him on my second channel at some point in the future. Um, it's just, he's not currently living in the state of Ohio. Um, but he posted a comment on the original video that YouTube some, for some reason deleted. And he's sent me messages periodically um, since the release of that video. And one thing that he really wants everyone to understand was that in his belief, the officers who responded did a very good job of handling the situation. Um, and he thought that they took good care of him, which I think is funny because a lot of comments on the video are talking about how poor of a job the officers did it kind of makes me laugh. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is he said that not long before he, he used these drugs and had that bad trip. He had a, um, like a falling out or an argument with one of his best friends. And many, many times in the video, he just keeps saying, I want to be cool. I want to be cool. A lot of people took that to mean that he was not liked or that he thought he wanted to be one of the cool guys. That's not what he was referring to in his state of mind. In his state of mind, he was talking to his friend I think he, he might have even said that he was hallucinating to the point he could see his friend in front of him. And he was saying, hey, like, I want to be cool. As in, come on, man, like, let's be cool with each other. Let's not argue anymore. So that's kind of what he was referring to when he continually said, I want to be cool and I want to do cool things. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the next video that did exceptionally well in 2021, which is one of my favorite videos, and I'll get to it in a moment, but the, uh, the officers respond to a call about a vicious Rottweiler. That video has 2.7 million views. I love that video. And I love the fact that it got so many views. One of the reasons I love it so much is because there's this public perception that when they hear police officer and vicious Rottweiler, they instantly think they're going to be watching a video about a dog that gets shot. Um, there's that, lust for blood and gore that a lot of people have in this world. And, um, I like kind of putting up videos that are going to attract that kind of attention, but 
don't show anything like that whatsoever. Because in the real world, those kinds of incidents where police officers are shooting dogs is actually exceptionally rare. And one of the other reasons I, I'm, I love the fact that this video got so many views and so many watch hours because it was almost 20 minutes long and virtually nothing happens the entire time. Um, it's a very action-free video. But for some reason, it did exceptionally well. And the only way a video like that can get so many views is if a lot of people share it in a lot of different places. So that means that was happening with that video, which kind of cracks me up. That was released in uh, June, and it's got almost 3 million views in about six months. So that was pretty cool. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up because one of the reasons I stopped using this animator program is it's very processor and graphics card intensive. Um, currently, I've been talking for 11 minutes, and I'll probably button this up within a minute and a half. That video or this file, when it goes to compress and kind of become something I can actually work with, it's probably going to take my computer 30 to 40 minutes to compress this thing down. The reason for that is because everything you can see on the screen is a separate image and a separate video file. Uh, so my bottom lip is a video file. My upper lip is a video file. My right eyebrow, my left eyebrow, my pupils, every single thing is a video file and it has to be, they have to be rendered and kind of blended together. I can't pretend that I know how it works. And then there's even, I can move the arms a little bit, but I don't like doing that. So we're going to go ahead and button this up because I also have a feeling there's not very many people watching. Um, I can see in my analytics, the average viewer only watches my videos for about three minutes, which those people are really missing out. Anyway, um, today is January the 2nd. I might upload this video tonight, but the channel is going to resume regular service on January the 10th. So starting on Monday, January the 10th, we're going to be back to our Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads um, with some small exceptions for when I take a little family vacation or something. And um, we're going to go from there. So I've said it a lot here recently, but I want to send a uh, thank you out to everybody who watches the channel. I really appreciate it. I also know that the officers of the Columbus Division of Police really appreciate you watching and sharing these videos too. It means a lot to them. Um, I hear back from quite a few of them frequently. Um, it's pretty cool. This has been a very cool experience. So thank you for all the, the support and everything you've given to the channel up until this point. And uh, here's to 2022. Uh, best of luck to all of you. And thank you for your support.